Hello everyone and welcome to December's TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read, the news uh, summary for the Java community. This is basically based off, I already do a newsletter called Java Annotated Monthly. Uh, it's a long newsletter full of links of interesting news and articles that I found over the last month. This is where I pick up like two or three interesting topics, give a quick summary. If you're interested in any of the articles, any of the news, any of the things I cover, or you want something, a, a broader set of news, then do go away, look at the notes in the description for this video and you'll find the link to Java Annotated Monthly for December. That's where you'll find much more depth for this news. So let's go straight on and look at the few picks that I've picked up from this month. Firstly, of course, JDK 16. We can't really have a month without having some news on JDK 16. It will be coming out in March. I guess the feature freeze is going to be sort of fairly soon-ish and we'll be, down, we'll be entering the ramp down phases in December. Uh, but the list of features that have made it into JDK 16 has increased. It looks like quite a fair chunk of features in JDK 16 across a bunch of things. There's some features for Project Panama, there's some um, new uh, updated preview features, uh, for example, records, and I think sealed types will be updated for JDK 16 and so forth. For more information, do look at the newsletter because I've got links for all of that stuff there. The things I, one of the things I really wanted to talk about, um, because it's, I'm very passionate about it, is around pair programming and code review. I came across a couple of articles this month, well, technically one video and one article, both by people called Dave, both of whom I worked with actually at the same company, uh, about pair programming. Pair programming is something I'm really passionate about. And when I worked with these two people at, at this company, I pair programmed every day and found it extremely valuable. This is where I learned all the, all the stuff I know about IntelliJ IDEA. This is where I learned how to do it because I saw other people programming using the IDE, uh, who, people who understand how the tool works, who understand how the language works, who understand the application. Um, and I have never learned so much so quickly. So there's two articles in this month's Annotated Monthly which talks about why pair programming is so much more than just two, two programmers sat at a keyboard helping each other, how it gives business value and, and why it's a, a really valuable thing to do. I came across another article about code review, which obviously is kind of, um, it's a bit like pair programming. Pair programming is, is from XP, from XP, from extreme programming. It's about constantly code reviewing. Code review is another topic I'm very passionate about, kind of for the opposite reasons that I'm passionate about pair programming. I love pair programming because it works really well. And um, I am passionate about code review because I have seen it and experienced it done not so well at all. So um, I'm very interested in, in articles about code review, like how we can do stuff better, what are good practices, what are bad practices. So there's something in Annotated Monthly about, about code review. And of course, I snuck in a link or two to my talks about code review. Oh, speaking of talks, actually, you can tell I don't plan this very well. Uh, when we were talking on the last topic about JDK 16, I do have a talk on this Friday, Friday 4th of December. So if you watch this video afterwards, you're a bit late. Uh, Friday 4th of December, where I cover the new features in Java. So if you are interested in this particular topic, um, I expect to have updated that talk for the JDK 16 features. Uh, and so you can watch that talk on Friday, uh, where I'm going to be covering new features in Java. Uh, right, that was slick, wasn't it? And the next thing I really want to talk about, uh, you'll notice that if you read Java Annotated Monthly or if you start watching more of these uh, TLDR videos, that although I talk about Java news, the stuff that I'm interested in is not just about Java the language. The stuff I'm interested in is what makes us good programmers overall? What makes us effective? What makes us happy? What makes us be able to deliver value? And that's not necessarily about features in Java. That's sometimes about things like processes and the way we work, like pair programming and code reviews. And it's sometimes wider things like how do I manage my career? How do I become a good developer? What does that look like? How can I show people what it means to be a good developer? Or how can I show people that I am good at what I do? How do I ident identify the things that I'm good at? So in Annotated Monthly, I don't just put a bunch of Java links. I also put a bunch of other stuff, which I think is really interesting and useful for developers.
specifically Java developers. And there's a few things in there about Korea. There's another video from um, Dave Farley who did the video on pair programming about every uh, about things that junior developers should know. And this was a really interesting video. I think it's worth watching if you are a junior developer, of course, but if you have junior developers on your team, if you are currently mentoring or looking to mentor, there's, I think it's something like 101 tips in there. So that's a very interesting video. Um, and then there's a bunch of other stuff in Annotated Monthly about career, not just around from starting your career as a Java developer, but um, broader stuff. There's a piece in there about your first day as a CTO, and there's things like how the community can impact your career. We discussed this in last month's video because Mala, my colleague Malagupta did an excellent keynote for, um, for one of the conferences where she was talking about how the being part of the Java community really helped grow her career. Now there's another article in um, December's Annotated Monthly where we where this is discussed this is discussed again, like how the community, how being involved with user groups, how being involved with open source actually helps you to develop your career. But not only develop your career, because obviously that's a good thing and we get more money, we get better jobs or whatever, but it's a, it's a way to steer ourselves to a job that makes us happier or more fulfilled or makes us, puts us back in touch with the thing, the reasons we like programming. I'm not one of those people who likes to bang on about, oh, we should be passionate about what we do. I think there are things that we are passionate about and that's fine. And finding that passion and tapping into that passion helps us be better at what we do. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of articles in Annotated Monthly about career this month. What else? Oh, and the other piece, which is really interesting, um, which is related to career as well, is around self-promotion. This is obviously much more applicable to, to people like developer advocates like myself, but it's applicable to developers too. If we are good at what we do, it's not enough to be good at what we do. We also have to be able to tell people that we're good at what we do, whether that's having GitHub repositories, whether that's blogging, whether that's being active on Twitter. Um, it's a little bit unfair, but that's kind of how the world works. And there's an interesting article in Annotated today about, uh, today, it will hopefully go out today or tomorrow, um, about self-promotion and why self-promotion is a good thing to do. And of course, the fact that it's very difficult, but you sort of have to overcome that, that difficulty of self-promotion. That's all for my roundup for this month, I think. Do, um, do subscribe if you do like this videos, or um, if you are interested in more topics in terms of Java news or in terms of uh, IntelliJ IDEA, because most of my videos are about IntelliJ IDEA, and I am the team lead for Java advocacy for IntelliJ IDEA. So um, do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're interested in this topic. And of course, if you have any feedback, any comments, do put some comments in the, oh, in the comments section uh, down below. Thanks for watching.